guys, Dee here. Welcome back to another Costco Canada haul. Today's haul is probably my most exciting haul to date. You all, I have been hunting down this one product for over a year in the warehouse and I scored the last one. I got it. Determination paid off. channel I post Costco hauls just like this one every single Sunday of the week and on Thursdays I take it in the store and I share everything that's new in the warehouse I love sharing my Costco haul I love talking all things Costco so if you love those things as well make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell that way you don't miss out on any videos coming up next on my channel with all that being said, let me show you what I got this time. First up, I grabbed some tortilla wraps. Next up, I picked up more salmon. We're actually going to have salmon for dinner a ton this week. So I need to get some more and I love the Kirkland Signature salmon. Next up, I grabbed some frozen Kirkland Signature pepperoni pizza. I have raved about this pizza once too many times and I'm still going to do it because it's just that good. Every single slice has like so much pepperoni on it that you're going to be in pepperoni heaven the price has gone up however it's summer break my kids are going to be home i need to feed them and this pizza is a family favorite so i grabbed some more next up i grabbed a bag of frozen strawberries these are great for smoothies and we have a ton of them especially in the summertime this week i was so happy to score some cherries i dug for a good package and i'm so happy that I grabbed one without any mold and now we're gonna eat this all in one day just to make sure our money doesn't go to waste and honestly we just love cherries anyway so I'm so happy I grabbed some this week. I also got one bunch of organic bananas you know this is a staple for us. Next I also grabbed a package of English cucumbers the price was reasonable and my cucumbers haven't grown out yet they're growing, but they're not there yet. So grab some more. This week I grabbed some of this brown sugar. I got this because it reminds me of the sugar that we have in Jamaica. If you guys don't know, I am Jamaican and brown sugar in Jamaica is way different than brown sugar here in Canada. I don't normally buy brown sugar. I was looking for my organic cane sugar by the Kirkland Signature brand, but they didn't have any. So rather than going home empty handed, I picked this up and this is just gonna be great to have in our pantry for any recipes I might be making. I also picked up more of these white nectarines. You guys know we love this so much and they have been really good this season. I also found out that my kids love plums and I'm so happy that plums are still available in the warehouse. I don't know what took me so long to introduce plums to my kids, but oh my gosh, if you guys can smell how good this smells, you would understand just how good it is. Leave a comment to let me know if you like plums or if you don't. We happen to love them, so you're gonna see this in our hauls pretty often until they're not available in the warehouse anymore. This week I also picked up some yogurt and I grabbed the Kirkland Signature yogurt that I tried about a month ago. It was super good. I was in the mood for yogurt and this was so good. I just had to get it again. This week I also picked up some sour cream. This is gonna be for recipes and dinners and taco nights and things like that. I'm gonna make sure I get through both packages this time. Last time I didn't do a good job at going through the second package, but I'm definitely making plans to meal plan and meal prep and make sure I incorporate this in recipes. And if all fails, I'm just gonna make some blueberry muffins because I always use sour cream in my blueberry muffins and they taste delicious, so moist and good. Like I mentioned before, my girls are out of school for the summer, so mama needed to stock up on some coffee creamer. I love coffee and I love the International Delight coffee creamer. I thought that this was gonna be available in all the Costco locations. However, it's only available in one of the few locations that I shopped. So while I was there and I saw it, I made sure that I doubled up. The expiration date on these is like a really long time as long as you don't open it. And honestly, this is probably like three weeks worth of coffee creamer for me. I'm hoping for four weeks, but let's say three weeks. Three weeks, because I'm at two cups a day right now. And this creamer is so good. This is the French Vanilla Supreme. Also, on a side note, I feel like this is gonna be great for workouts because these are pretty heavy and like my guns 
are burning right now, just holding both of them at the same time. Next up, I grabbed some Classico pasta sauce. I normally get this just from the grocery store, but I decided to try this one out at Costco. I don't normally buy this tomato and basil flavor. I usually like the tomato um, basil or I think it's sweet basil marinara one, but this one is going to be just as good. I'm actually going to try to budget cook with this. I'm going to use one jar of sauce and one can of tomato sauce, mix it together, make my own sauce and have the sauce stretch a little bit more because everything is getting so expensive. I'm just trying to find corners to cut back. And this is what I'm trying this time. I'll update you guys to let you know how it works out for me. But um, this is what I'm going to try to do because things are just, you know, things are getting super expensive. Next up, I grabbed these individual packs of goldfish snacks for the girls. They're out of school. They need snacks. And this is great for portion control. Otherwise, they'll eat the whole bag in like one week. And that's not going to be good for my budget or their tummies. I also decided to pick up more of these Haichu candies, which are crazy addictive, but our candy jar is running low and I wanted to re-up on it and just make sure I have treats that the girls are going to love. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys, <laughs> I probably eat this more than them because it's, it's that good. It, it's too good. You guys have to try it if you haven't done so already. I did a whole taste test in one of my previous videos, so check it out if you haven't done that already. Next up, I grabbed some chocolate-covered almonds. You guys know I love chocolate and I love these Kirkland Signature chocolate-covered almonds. This is like my happy place. I just pour some in a bowl and I snack on it all day and I am like in food heaven. <laughs> You guys are not going to believe this, but look what's back in the warehouse. They finally have these lemon juices. I don't personally love them that much, but my husband does. And this has been sold out for over six months. I don't know what happened. They just weren't getting them in the warehouse, but they do have them back now. So I stocked up for our pantry because who knows when this random product is going to go missing again. So I just grabbed two packages, of which are two packs, and I'm going to keep this in our pantry for whatever my husband needs these real lemons for. <laughs> this week, I'm super excited that for the first time ever, I'm buying the Kirkland Signature Margarita Mix, and I've had it before. It's so good. All you need is your tequila, add this in there, whatever liquor you want to add. Your adult drink is like golden if you have this, so I recommend you guys trying it. I'll probably share a drink recipe with you all sometime soon in the future, but I love this mix. I'm so happy that I finally found it. I feel like I always forget every time I'm in Costco to pick this up, but this time I did not forget. I guess it's just summer vibes. I am in the mood for a nice summer drink. This is going to be it for me. Next, I grabbed some more dish pods. These are great for the dishwasher, super affordable. If you guys don't know already, this Kirkland Signature dish pod is really, really good. I like it, super affordable. So I went ahead and picked up some more because we were running low. This next item I actually forgot to grab and I had to go back in and get this one item that I forgot about. I filmed it in a Costco versus D episode on Instagram and TikTok. So if you're not following me over there, I'm going to leave the information here. I'm at D and Fam official on Instagram and TikTok. Follow me there. Follow along with those Costco versus D episodes. I go in and I try to get just one thing. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I am not, but you guys know how it is going into Costco. It's almost impossible to just go in for just one thing. So I grabbed these towels for the girls. They're hooded towels and they're perfect for the summertime. They were in some water recently and their towel wasn't keeping them warm enough, but I do remember having the hood. It does keep them a little bit warmer. So I recommend getting this. It's a super good price. I think this is $19.99 for a pack of two. They have different prints to choose from. And I definitely recommend you guys getting these for your kids as well. It's a great buy. Next up, I saw this hiking. I call it hiking. There's a backpack for hiking at Costco on clearance and to be discontinued. So I figured this is a sign, number one, I love hiking. Number two, this backpack has a water thing with a straw and I just, I knew this, this is it for me. So this is great for if you're an outdoors person and you need a little bit extra support. And also it has like the straps across and as I said, the straw and the water thing on the inside. The fit is super comfortable. It's definitely lightweight and this is going to be a hiker's dream. So if you like the outdoors and if you're looking for a backpack that has water in it, this is the one for you. They had two color options to choose from and I just really like the way that it is. I haven't adjusted the straps or anything like that, but I am super happy with this purchase. 
I cannot wait to test it out on one of my hikes. And when I do, I'll try to get some footage to share that with you all. All right, you all. And then last, but certainly not least, this is the product I have been hunting down for over a year in the warehouse. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have been looking for this three-tier basket. Now I gotta hunt it down, see where I can find it. This is exactly what I was looking for. And I got the only one that I saw in the warehouse while I was there. And I'm just so, so happy. I cannot wait to open this up. I hope it lives up to the hype because like I have been obsessing over this. This is a three tier fruit basket. And you guys know I'm always buying a ton of produce and we never really have a lot of space. If you hear some clicking and clacking, Bella, my dog, is eating food right now and her tag is hitting the bowl. So if you hear that, I'm sorry, real life. She's hungry, I can't stop her. She probably tried to bite me, not really, but you know what it is when you have pets. But anyways, I really like this because the baskets are removable so you can take them off and the size looks like it's gonna be pretty big. I can't wait to put this together. I'll probably insert what it looks like put together after I film this portion of the haul. And with all that being said, thank you all so much for spending your time here with me and watching my latest haul. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. So this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. The baskets can pretty much rest right there in like the little circle drum area or you can just literally hang them up like this and they pretty much like hang and swivel. This is probably my most exciting purchase this year. I have been, I told you guys, I've been wanting to get this for so long. Now we have it. Oh my gosh. These are the things that make me happy. Three tier fruit baskets for the low at Costco. I'm so happy about this one. I'll fill it up with some fruits and stuff that we have right now. And I'll show you what it looks like once it's up.